A mother drowned her three-year-old daughter in the bath after becoming convinced her husband was having an affair, a court heard today. Housewife Claire Colborn, 36, allegedly held little Beth in under the water before putting her on a bed where she was discovered with soaking wet hair the next day by her grandmother. Former science teacher Colborn wept today as jurors were told she mistakenly believed her husband Michael, 38, was cheating on her with a fellow executive at his marine firm and even emailed her claims to his colleagues, The Sun reports. It is alleged Colborn even believed her husband was spying on her through the Wi-Fi and computer at the home they had shared, told family he was a controlling bully and filed divorce papers claiming he did not want Bethan in his life. However, the last time he had seen his beloved daughter alive, Mr. Colborn took her to a park and Bethan hugged and kissed him before he left the little girl with her mother. Winchester Crown Court heard the mother's obsession had seen her spend days scouring the internet for details on her husband's former girlfriend, as well as researching suicide and if drowning was painless. Prosecutor Carrie Malin said Bethan was found dead at her Fording Bridge, Pants, home in October 2017, despite medics racing the little girl to hospital they were unable to save her. Colborn herself was found suffering a diabetic episode, having administered a huge dose of insulin in the hours after. After her little girl's death, the court was told Colborn posted two chilling letters, the first to a police station in Bournemouth, Dorset. Detailing what had happened to her relationship with her husband and the second to her mom, telling her she loved her. Ms. Malin said, when she was cautioned by police, Claire said, we had a bath, we had a bath in. I can't remember anything else, on the journey to the police station, she said, I did not kill her. But at the police station in Southampton, officers reported she was in a jovial mood, almost laughing and joking, they said in an intercepted letter. Colborne described her husband as controlling and a bully, she added, she said she didn't save her daughter from the bath, adding, I did not want her to suffer, and, in my eyes, I saved her. In the final police interview, Claire said, I am responsible. Beth and drowned because I was there, I held her under the water, husband Michael, a chief executive officer. I've luxury marine interior company Trimline is expected to give evidence at a later date. Claire Colborn denies one count of murder. The trial continues. This story was originally published in The Sun and is reprinted with permission.